Hi everyone. Um, we recently uh, completed production on a movie and so now um, I have the task of editing it and as part of editing it, editing it I have um, a little bit of special effects work to do. So um, I thought I would uh, document the creating of the different special effects things that I'm doing and put them out there as tutorials for um, you know, hopefully help people out. Um, so what I'm working on today is um, we did um, two shots, two sort of matching shots on a green screen. And then the idea is that um, we would um, key them out and then we would have them morph together. So that's like a before and after. There's an old one, which is right here, and then a young one. <laughs> And, um, excuse me, um, the old one is going to morph into the young one. So she becomes younger. Cool, huh? But, uh, so we have to, tonight's task is that we have to key this thing out, um, really nicely. Um, so one of the challenges that we had is that we shot this on a Sony FS7, uh, in 4K, um, using S-Log3. And um, for those of you familiar with S-Log or S-Log3, um, you'll know that when you shoot it, um, it comes out very desaturated. Um, and I was having trouble keying with the desaturated footage. And, you know, they say color correct after you do the special effects, not before. Well, uh, it's kind of the chicken and the egg, right? And when it comes to green screen. So what I did is I dropped the Rec 709 LUD on it in Premiere and rendered this thing out um, in H.265. I, I took the H.265 preset and I turned up the bitrate as far as it would go. And then that produced this footage, which I'm now going to try to key. Um, so anyway, um, the first thing that we want to do is create a new comp. And make sure that you use, you know, a high color bitrate here, which is appropriate to your um, footage. Mine's 32-bit footage, so I'm going to create a 32-bit color comp. Um, so there we are. Um, now, of course, we're going to drop key light on it. And you'll note that key light does 32-bit, so we're good. Um, so here's a here's kind of a cool trick that I learned. So we have the comp up right now, but um, I'm going to double click on this and also open the layer. And I, I think normally the layer would come up right here and you just drag it over here so that it creates a new, new sort of tab here. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna, I want these side by side and you need to make sure that the render is off on this one. That's very, very important. Render off on the layer. Um, and then the composition will have the render on. And it's just the default. So um, the reason why we're doing this is because um, using this screen color eyedropper, you know, you can guess and you can try it all over the place and um, it's time consuming and it's just a guess but it, it affects the overall key greatly, you know, has a huge impact on things. So, um, you know, judicious selection of the, the green color that you're gonna key out is very important and this is, this is the best way to do it. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on status and then we're gonna click the eyedropper. I'm gonna move it over here and then on Windows, you hold down the Alt key, and that's what it does. Um, on the Mac, I think it's like Command key. Um, anyway, what it does is it shows you real time what the key is going to look like just you know initially, right when you um, hit the eyedropper. So it lets us pick this, the best one. So what I'm kind of looking for in, over here is that um, uh, we kind of messed up in that we have all this hair here. Would have liked a different, you know, hairstyle choice if I had done it over again. Um, because this is really going to be hard to keep all this. We're probably going to lose some of it. Um, but in any case, 
um, you want the over here to be as you know all the areas that we want to key out to show as black as black as possible but we also want to keep as much hair detail as we can you can see there's kind of a compromise there you know more hair detail here less hair de detail here but the green screen keys out better so uh let's see what are we gonna do let's <laughs> that's not good let's do something like that let's try that okay um so you should look at this in intermediate result to judge it okay um and that's before we've really started to mess with it so that's that's actually a really nice initial key right it's, it's not bad at all um to really view it though um what you're supposed to do is go new um sh no, eh, wrong sorry uh bad <laughs> uh layer new solid um black is fine move that under the green screen and then right click on it and do effect um, generate do, 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 gradient ramp okay and now we're kind of done with this right side so we're gonna let's minimize that and you can really see so um you can see all this green crud here that's not good but we actually so far we've managed to retain a lot of the hair that dangles down here that fine detail that's good some more green here so let's see what we can do with this puppy so i'm going to select her again and these are the two initial things that you want to mess with the most i set this back to status so we want to clear up all this cruft here um and we want this to be a little bit more solid, you know, so that there isn't like holes through her, you know. Um, and then we want to just make sure that the edge here is is good, is as good as we can get it. So these are the the two um, knobs that you use the most: clip black and clip white. Clip black will, you know, you can see, boom, um, it takes care of all the cruft, but you want to use it as little as possible um because we can see we're losing more hair detail there so okay let's see what we did there six that's pretty darn good as far as a low number let's see what we got okay um it's not bad so let's let's do more um let's try to get this solid more so we'll Okay, well, let's see what that looks like. Nice. So we got rid of, we did, that worked out pretty amazingly well. We got cruft up there. So um, what I'm going to do is, it's what I always do. <laughs> let's see. Um, need to zoom this out a little bit more. Okay. Um, I'm going to use what's called a garbage mat. So I'm going to make sure this is selected. I'm going to take a pen tool here. And I'm going to draw it kind of close around her. Remembering that she is, you know, moving a slightly. Um, so. And I think she turns her head. So I'm going to give some more room out here. If I remember right. Okay, so there's the mask, and what we want the mask to do for us is, um, you know, we know that she's never going to cross the screen, you know, over in these areas. So what we want to do is just unconditionally, um, you know, green them out and make sure that we just see the background through them. Um, so the best way to do that is through a mask like this. Um, you just have to make sure that she doesn't cross the mask at any point. So let's just look at that really quick. 
and you can of course animate this mask too so if she does you can you know move it out of the way of her just at the right time Okay, she's moving around a little bit there. Okay, now she's moving. So, all right. So let's give it a little bit more room here. Okay. So there's a small amount of cruft there too. I wanna to see if I can get rid of that. Okay, and I'm not animating this, I'm just moving this. Okay. Although maybe I should have been animating it, but anyway. Just wanna make it bigger, big enough so that it stays out of her way. So you know what, um, I think on the right side, we kind of give a little more room than we needed to. Okay, so she never gets past like, you know, like here. Let's just move all this stuff in. So if there's ever any cruft at any point over there, we can, we can just get rid of it right now. What if we put this down? And by the way, for this mask, we don't want add, we want uh, subtract, invert. That's, that's what I usually do for these. So let's see. Make sure we didn't mess ourselves up here. Okay, then cross to end. I will animate this if I have to. But I don't think we have to. Okay. turn this up just one more boom <laughs> so I turned it from six to seven and that cruft is gone there now so that's good and uh, let's make sure we get enough room over here too so what are we looking like here now okay so in terms of the lines I mean the lines look pretty good we're still got a lot of hair detail here it's nice but we got this ugly, ugly green thing going on here. So um, they have this despill bias, which is meant to take care of that, but that sucks, quite frankly. So um, we'll use something else. We we'll use advanced skill suppressor, which is also a 32-bit effect, and we'll drop it, and bam! Look at that. It just took that green completely out and now it's looking, you know, really, really nice. And I am quite happy with this now. So there we have it. 
um, we successfully um, pulled a key, a chroma key, on uh, this green screen footage. Um, so I'm going to do the uh, the other image now. Um, turn off the camera and do it, and then uh, probably tomorrow I'll get back and I will do the morph and I will make a tutorial on that. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and found it useful. Um, you know, leave me a, a comment or send me an uh, email or whatever um, if you have any questions or comments. Um, visit my blog. Uh, blog is brianjepperson.com. And uh, I'll be putting all kinds of good stuff up there as well as uh, on my uh, YouTube channel. So um, keep a lookout for that. Uh, take care. Bye.